All right, we're only shooting two. We're getting rid of these. These are out. Why are they out? Because groups are actually bad for you. Let's talk about that and think about it for a minute. Let's actually go down here and let's let's explain that a little bit for you. Why I've come to the conclusion that groups are not what I want to shoot anymore. And I'm not going to shoot any more groups. From now on, it's going to be one arrow at the target. So if we look at this, so we can make sense of it, let's set this up here. Spin you just a touch so when I come over here and talk, we're good to go. Okay, and there we go. So now, when it comes to shooting groups at targets, what I'm finding is that when I do this, when I shoot at this, if I have this arrow here already, okay, I've already shot this arrow and it's in here, it gives me an aiming point. You can see that from your angle there. You can see I now have this to aim at, which is in the perfect location on this. It's a 12 ring shot right where it needs to be it's perfect on the slight corner way it's a, it's perfect um, but it now gives me a point to aim at for all of my next three or four arrows okay same here that's a perfect shot it's in there it's good right tucked in next to the shoulder I'll take it all day long but now I have an aiming point for all of my other arrows that's a problem I don't want that aiming point anymore I want to be able to have to pick a spot I want to physically with my mind be able to to mentally project the spot on here, pick a spot to aim at, and if I already have this arrow here, I can't do that. If I take and shoot again, I will naturally be drawn to where this is and try to shoot to hit that same thing, and then I end up with, you know, this kind of stuff, which is good, and you feel good because you're shooting good, but every shot after my first one is a problem because of the fact that I have that aiming point on there. So what we want to do is we want to be able to look at that target as an empty target with nothing on it. That way we can pick that spot, pick that location that we want to hit with our eyes and actually, almost like Superman, just burn a hole. It's very hard to project something on there. It's very hard for me mentally to like place a red dot on here where I want to hit, to fo you know, like to visually see a red dot on there. It's hard to do that. It takes a lot of practice. You can, and I do, but it, it's hard to do. Um, you hear it, pick a spot, pick a spot. Well, on a live animal, there's usually not a spot to pick. On most live animals, we don't have a bunch of holes where I can say I want to pick that hole and focus only on that hole. You don't have that luxury. So you have to mentally project it. So what I find the best thing to do is if it is a bare target and I'm there, when I come in to draw, before I draw, I'm looking and I am literally feeling like I'm like Superman would and I'm projecting with my eyes exactly where if I had laser laser eyes where I'd want to burn a hole through that animal to kill it. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm coming in and I'm locking in and I'm burning that hole in and I'm just keeping my eyes locked on there and I'm coming in and shooting and that's what I'm doing and that's what I want and then you get that result right there like we just did or the one in there but now every shot after that once I shoot that first shot when I'm shooting groups I shoot that first one boom it's in there and then it's a relief it's like oh that's so much easier now because now I already have a spot to aim at I don't have to project that anymore and it starts to hurt you later on down the road so if you're shooting a group of three or four arrows let's say you're doing three arrow groups your first one is the only one you have to work on because once it's in there it gives you that spot to lock onto and then it's all much easier in the real world hunting you don't have this spot on that target you don't have that aiming point there so i'm going to stop shooting groups a lot i'm going to start shooting one arrow at a time per target i got two targets so i'm going to start shooting one go get it because that is going to force me to focus and pick that spot every single time okay make it happen i just missed a hog last night had a perfect shot you know 17 18 yards drew back and i missed it big and it was like i never even focused on a spot he was walking a little bit but i, I never even picked anything i just shot like i naturally do but i never took that time to focus and uh, when I got home, I thought, you know what? There's no way I'll ever do that again. I need to focus and I need to do that. And I came out and I started shooting today. Boom, launch one in, next couple go right in there too. I love this Reinhardt target. It seals up like gold. I mean, there's gotta be 75 arrows in that already and you can't even tell. The thing just eats them up. Um, but, uh, but I was shooting and I would shoot groups. Boom, 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 slapping shafts. They were in nice and tight and I was feeling really good. Then it hit me. Once my first arrow was in, the rest of it's easy. I have a small, very little aiming point in the perfect spot on that animal to go for, and it defeats the purpose 
of what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is on a live animal project that spot that I want to hit to focus intently and pick that spot, be able to lock onto it and, and shoot. So my new rule for myself is no more groups, occasionally maybe, but most of the time I will shoot single arrows at a target that's what's going to happen. And from now on, uh, when, I'm, when I'm drawing, before I even start my draw process, when I see that animal, my first step must be to lock that spot with my eye. To paint it like you would with laser with your eyes. I will look at nothing else, but it will be to lock that spot, burn a hole in it, come back, lock in, and never let my eyes off that. Burn that spot in, find it, lock it, and just try to melt my eyes right through it before I shoot and hopefully the combination of that stuff will prevent any of that forgetting to pick a spot forgetting to pick a spot the right way or not knowing how to pick a spot very well um, usually when people shoot it's the you know it, it, when you do your shooting and you're shooting groups you'll soon realize that if your first arrow is in the right spot your group is going to be better automatically because you're going to follow that. Even if your first shot is out a little bit, say that much off left or right, your eye now has a spot right to there and you just automatically make the calculations. But trying to do that on a bare animal is very hard to do on a flat, empty, you know, featureless side of an animal like that where you, you know, sometimes you can pick a hair. On a deer, you often have the defined shoulders and stuff. On a hog, you have nothing. It's like shooting at a bear. You don't see any of that. So being able to project it and lock it or visually see something on there is everything. The best way to practice that, doing individual arrows only in projecting that spot. So a little tip for you on shooting and why I'm no longer going to be shooting groups. I want that pristine focus and I want to practice it every time I shoot. I don't want it to be something I work on a little bit once in a while. Every time I shoot I want those eyes burning that hole right through that target before I shoot. That will be my first step every time before I draw. I will not even let myself draw until my eyes are, you know, here comes that animal and locked. There it is. Boom, right there. That's what I'm after. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you guys out. Thanks for watching.